Twin, I'm here celebrating, man. I want to send a big birthday shout out to Balaz. Happy birthday, Balaz. Hey, what's going on? This is Balaz, your ultimate songwriter, coming to you live from The View. Balaz, I'm on the set of The View. You know what I'm saying? 20th anniversary. New addition is in the house. Yo, that's how we doing it up. Let me tell you, New Edition was supposed to come on, but due to current events, we're going to have Jennifer Holiday. She's going to break down why she's not doing the inauguration for Donald Trump. You were going to go and perform, and what happened? Well, I, first of all, I woke up, I mean, I got the call and, uh, about on Wednesday night, mm -hmm. and uh, so we began to talk about everything about doing it. I was uh, just trying to think if I wanted to do it. Then Friday morning, I woke up and there was like this whole thing of of uh, terrible tweets and things on my Instagram, and I was like, Oh no, what did I do? I couldn't even think about what I'm doing. Right. They were like, You're singing at the. I was like, I am. What happened? You know, because I we hadn't really finalized right. everything yeah. yet, yeah. Mm -hmm. and I was like, Oh my goodness, because I didn't know they were gonna announce it and stuff, and I was like, Oh my goodness, you know. And my publicist said, well, you know, people want to talk to you. I was like, oh, my goodness, I've never had any. Because, you know, I've led a pretty, pretty reclusive life. Right, I pretty right. much stay to myself. Right. And then you're not on the radio, and then one morning you wake up and everybody hates you. And I'm like, what could I have possibly right. done to, to have this kind of things thrown at me? Well, wh why did you initially consider performing at the uh, inauguration? Because I'm an artist and I love America. I just, I, I just really, I just, well, what's going on? you know, and, 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 and it, it, it just, it just didn't you, dawn on me. I have performed on, for, for other presidents, you know, but started with Ronald Reagan, and Bush, 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 the, Bush, the Clintons, and during their eight-year time, and during the eight-year time of even the Clintons, they had people who were mm -hmm. of, of different kinds. Mm -hmm. The Clintons had all kinds of friends. It really wasn't a thing yeah. back then. Yeah. And so I didn't think anything of it, and I was like, Oh, they want me to sing? Oh, my goodness. I could see myself on the mall, like Mary Ann, I'm saying, America. And I'm, like, trying to think about what I'm going to wear. I just really did not, it didn't, you know, it didn't dawn on me that this was, like, a bad thing and we weren't doing America right now. I was like, we're not doing America right now. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> we, do, we doing something totally different. It just right. never really... Right dawned on me. Right. It was just my really honest desire that my voice could be used. And not everybody loves the way I sing, but still my voice, I felt, could be used as an instrument of healing and yeah. unity. Yeah. And I thought that we had instructions, you know, from the Obamas and the Clintons that it was a go-ahead. We were going we to do, we do a ceasefire for one day. <laughs> and yeah. I just thought it was okay. Well, DJ Legend, a.k.a. Okay. Marley Marl, happy birthday. Crazy, you already know. You're seeing a lot over here. You're seeing a lot. 